So welcome everyone, welcome, welcome to this special session. My name is Rochelle Tangai. I'm a master teacher um, involved in the center, in Master Chateau Center in Antwerp. And it is my pleasure today to invite Dr. Peter Hudoba, that he will help us to understand deeper why the understanding the spiritual journey for our life is so important. So welcome everyone. Are you ready? So let me invite Dr. and Peter Hudoba. Welcome to our Facebook Live and also for the Belgium Center audience. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, dear uh, Rochelle. Uh, I am very honored and grateful I can be with all of you today. We will have a workshop this weekend with you, understanding deeper the spiritual journey. So I would like to ask you a few questions. You as a successful neurosurgeon for so many years, how did you combine that with, how did you come to look for a spiritual journey or did you always meditate already? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the story is like this. Uh, since I was a little child, I wanted to be a doctor. And I was very inspired by stories I read as a, a child, yes, in my youth, uh, ancient Greek stories. And uh, between them, there was a story of the um, Hippocrates, uh, who was a physician on island of course very famous physician about two and a half thousand years ago and uh, later i learned that he is basically considered father of modern medicine because he established some grounds basis on which we still practice medicine even today many names of illnesses we are using or parts of the body we are using the same names he started and uh, so what was interesting about uh, Hippocrates, that he was not only physician and surgeon, but he was also a priest. And he was doing the uh, spiritual ceremonies in the temple of God of medicine uh, and uh, named Asclepius. And so his approach to medicine was both spiritual and physical. He prescribed medications, he did surgeries, but he also did spiritual interventions. And that was so fascinating since young childhood, I was completely taken aback by this. Wow, this is what I want to do in my life. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So, if I'm happy with my life already, I have a job, I have my family, I have children, I have a well-paid job. Why should I look for a spiritual journey? Will that help me to grow deeper? Well, as I said, you know, the, the Hippocrates was teaching us the complete method of, of healing, helping an ill person. And uh, when I studied uh, my profession and then practiced my profession, I found that something is missing there. Something was very missing. Uh, and I could feel that I am not addressing the illness at the complete level. Something is missing. But also what was missing was inside me, that uh, it did not give me full satisfaction. It didn't give me that feeling of complete accomplishment because something was always missing there. And it was not missing only in my profession, but I also felt something is missing in my life. Uh, even I have all this success. Uh, there is something which is not there, which should be there. And I realized uh, very quickly that this is 
a spiritual aspect of the life that was missing. So that's why I then dedicated myself to fulfill this other aspect of my being, the quest for enlightenment. <laughs> wow. Thank you for sharing that. So did you start it with meditation first also? Uh, yes, I, uh, I uh, both meditation and spiritual healing. Since childhood, I had that ability and, uh, and uh, I uh, could feel energies. And uh, then uh, I was still a teenager when I started to offer help with energy, with healing. And uh, I meditated already as a teenager. And then it stayed with me all my life. Even I was at university, I still did the same. I studied uh, conventional science and also I studied the spiritual science, <laughs> both, and practiced both all my life. I'm curious, how did you find the time with your busy profession as a, as a doctor, neurosurgeon to to meditate. If you want to brush your teeth, you will <laughs> find the time. If you want to clean your mind, you will find the time also. <laughs> because many people ask me, I'm so busy, I don't have time. I want to do it, but how can I combine it? Okay, there are the many well, questions. I hear. If you are that busy, then meditate on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, there is no time, no space. Anywhere, anywhere is good. It yeah. is a meditation. <laughs> you drive the car, you meditate. You can chant, you are driving the car. You can uh, chant when you are in subway. You're holding the rack, the tracks are going, or you are in the tram in the city. You meditate. No time is wasted. <laughs> <laughs> I like you telling that, that um, everything you do, um, waiting time is practice time so that you can combine it. Yes. So that is something we all should can, can take as a good advice that even a busy mother can meditate with the children, with everything, busy life, meditation. And what is the meditation has brought you? Have you brought you peace of mind that you can can have more uh, spiritual um, contact that you have insights? That we will teach on the weekend. I just can't give everything now out. <laughs> and we will teach you. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you inspired to be in the workshop this weekend with Dr. Peter Hudoba, who will help us to understand deeper your spiritual journey and your physical journey, how to combine it and have the depths in it to grow and have the highest aspiration, because he also has reached the enlightenment. So, that is all that we are going to, and to reveal with the practical tips that he has gone through all, how many years, Dr. Peter? More oh, than 35 yeah. years of it? <laughs> oh, I don't want to count anymore. It's, it, it, it is more than 50. <laughs> more than 50 years, wow. So are you inspired to really to know how the pear is tasting so that you can have a depth, a more depth in your life. If you're looking for the growth and understanding the spiritual journey much more. So you are also working with Dr. and Master Shah with the calligraphies. How has, does that help you in addition to your spiritual journey? No, in uh, many different ways. First of all, calligraphy is an art. And for me to express my art feelings, art, uh, amb not ambitions, but joy of doing art, performing art, is very important for me. I was a musician all my life, played instruments. Um, I was singing. 
uh, in choir, in the rock band. And uh, I almost all, also painted. And so this expression of my artistic part of my being is very important for me. Uh, so se secondly, it is a very powerful meditation. Uh, you know, when we meditate we, uh, with the calligraphy, we concentrate on on the creating the lines or, or following them. And that puts us very easy way into a deep meditative state. So that's a perfect way to meditate. And also it is perfect way to do a, a healing or for the healing or, or for self healing. So I used it in many different ways and very effective, very beneficial. Thank you. And also you have done martial arts too. So <laughs> martial arts. And then can you help us to understand that martial arts with the calligraphy, following the calligraphy can help us to go deeper, to have this peace. The martial arts are at a deepest level of spiritual practice. They are not fighting on the street, uh, like um, senseless fighting, uh, like violence. Uh, on the contrary, the, the fighting is in deepest sense, uh, the same achievement you can achieve with calligraphy. It is a way of meditation. So I do Tai Chi almost every day. I go outside and when I move the Tai Chi movements, they have the, the same elegance, the same principle like calligraphy. Um, and they follow the same Tao principles. You know, the calligraphy we do from the left to right, from the top to down. Well, the same is the movements of the Tai Chi from the left to right, from top to down, from to back. This is exactly the same principles. So it's very similar way of practice. Let's put it that way. Wow. We will also do that all in this weekend so that you can practice and experience how meditation can be in a movement too. And that can bring you a sense of peace, and that will benefit your, your work, your profession, your focus in life too. So be inspired to come and join us this weekend. Well, Dr. Peter, what else can you give us that we are like excited to, to oh, be in this weekend? Okay, I will uh, sing a song uh, uh, for you. Great. It is a Dao, Dao song uh, composed by Master Shah. So everyone, uh, please close your eyes. Dao Fa Zran, Dao Fa Zran, Dao Fa Zran. Dao fa zran, dao fa zran. Dao fa zran, dao fa zran, dao fa zran. Dao fa zran, dao fa zran, dao fa zran. It's been my utmost joy and pleasure and honor to be with all of you. Thank you, dear Richelle, for inviting me, for your lovely presence, for leading the discussion that was so enjoyable and hard to achieve. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Peter. We will see you this weekend. Thank you very much for joining us. Till some Saturday, bye-bye.